And now... Please welcome our next Commander-in-Chief, my husband, President Donald J. Trump. Good evening, New York City! Hello, Madison Square Garden! Our hometown, where architectural symbols of strength, courage, and unity create a canvas for the world's undisputed capital of industry. where titans of finance, fashion, and entertainment convene among an iconic range of superior design, structures, and artistic accomplishments. And sadly, today, a declining quality of life coupled with economic instability makes it difficult for business to thrive. Love you too! This town has produced America's most fearless leaders, whose mark changed the course of the world. New York City and America needs their magic back. I, for me, I think it's the historic nature of all this. Very, from the very beginning, when you saw Melania walk out, a little bit of a surprise, and then you saw the two of them just taking this moment in. Just it, it, it's not like any rally he's ever held before. And he's had big rallies filling airport hangars. This is entirely different. At, like you said, Lisa, we'll never see it again. And then just standing there, soaking it in, waving at the crowd. We don't get to see that type of moment from Donald Trump out on the campaign trail all that often. And he talked about his love of New York, the city where I was born and raised. And of course, he went on to make great highlights and, 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 and plans and promises and unveiling the new tax breaks and things and promising America's new golden age. He had his plan, the message he was going to do. But it started with this moment where he soaked it all in. And I think when you look at something political, this is history. And it was worth taking that moment.